Hello, welcome to Megger's technical support video series, Frequently Asked Questions. In this video, we will show you how to connect an S1 insulation resistance tester. Let's get started. This is the S1 unit by Megger with some of its test leads and accessories. All of the test leads share the same type of connection to the unit. A simple yet very effective locking mechanism keeps the test leads in place by a simple twist of the hand. All we need to do is insert the leads and twist them so that the arrows are parallel to the instrument. This keeps the leads in place, making it virtually impossible for them to come out during testing. If we need to release the leads, we simply flip the connector 90 degrees and take them out. To test the transformer insulation, we would first short the windings. There are then three tests that can be done. High voltage to low voltage and ground. Low voltage to high voltage and ground. And both windings to ground. On rotating machinery, we would typically test the ground wall insulation per phase by connecting to each of them individually with the other two shorted and grounded. While testing a cable, it is important to notice that we are connecting the positive to the ground and the negative to the conductor under test. In a multi-conductor cable, any conductor which insulation is not under test should also be grounded. Using the guard terminal, it is possible to eliminate the unwanted effect of surface contamination. Using the connection shown here, it is possible to guard away the current circulating because of contamination and measure the actual insulation resistance under test, in this case, that of a bushing. This concludes our video about connecting an S1 insulation resistance tester. Visit the Mega YouTube channel for more videos including technical webinars, product overviews and other how-to presentations similar to this one. Contact us for questions or more information about this topic or for any support you may need for your electrical testing.